From the products page, enter the SKU for the product in the SKU field. The SKU must be unique to the product. Enter the product title in the product name field. Enter a quantity into the quantity field. If this is a variation product, leave the quantity field blank. Click the plus sign to the left of the SKU field to create the product. You are now directed to the general screen. There are three sections to complete, the information tab, pricing tab and the stop tab. Enter the general information about the product. Any information entered into the general tab will be added to the quick load bar on the listings page. This means that you can utilise the quick load feature when listing your product to pre-populate certain product information fields. You will notice that the details you entered on the previous page are automatically added into the information page. Now you just need to enter any information relevant to your product, for example, brand, manufacturer and barcode. Before moving on to the pricing tab, enter the product description into the product description box. Click on the pricing tab. Enter the price of your product into the anchor price field. If you wish to apply different prices across your channels, you can utilise the channel pricing feature. For example, if you wanted your Amazon price to be 10% higher than your anchor price, then select percentage from the type and enter 10 into the amount field. Click recalculate to see the result. If you wanted to make your eBay price to be £1.50 lower than the anchor price, select decimal from the type and enter minus £1.50 into the amount field. Click recalculate to see the result. Finally, if you wanted to change your play account to only sell the product at a certain price, select set from the type and enter the set price into the amount field. Again, click recalculate to see the result. The channel pricing information that you have entered can be saved as a template, allowing you to use these pricing rules again. Click on the stock tab. If you use picking lists, enter the location of the stock into the locator fields. You can customise the names of these located as required. For example, locator 1 could be warehouse, locator 2 could be bay, and locator 3 could be shelf. It is useful to enter the cost price of the product at this stage. You are able to download reports showing both your product price and your cost price, which will help you when reordering stock. Setting a stock alert will ensure you are notified when your stock count reaches a minimum level. We will notify you on your dashboard, prompting you to run the stock alert CSV report. As with the cost price, entering the supply details will save you time when replenishing stock, as both cost price and supplier are listed within the report. Now you need to add your product image. To bring your image into Channel Grabber, select Browse and navigate to the image. Clicking the Upload button imports the image into Channel Grabber. If you are loading multiple images, follow the previous steps. If your images are hosted on the web or the cloud, you can enter the URL link to the image. Clicking the plus symbol will import the image into Channel Grabber. Click Back to Products to view the products you have just created. Congratulations, you have successfully added a product to Channel Grabber. The next step is to list your product to your channels.